guys, Dale here with Little RV Rentals. Um, here's three things I'm definitely probably going to be buying at uh, Princess Auto, but there's a few more that I have circled. Before we get started, make sure you uh, like below and hit the subscribe link with the bell to be notified of uh, future videos. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we have is a, um, a digger here. I've seen these in the in the uh, store before, but they, they seem a little weak here. Um, got some car ramps. Princess Auto is similar to uh, Harbor Freight in the United States. Bow there, bow and arrow. So one thing I'll be getting is these uh, trailer adapters because I go through these a lot. Sometimes they malfunction when they're they warm up in the heat and that. So um, I've had had a couple that just stopped working. So I'm going to pick up a couple of those. That's a good deal. Forty price, forty five percent off. Got some trailer hitches. I have one of these. These are really good for distance. You can turn them around, go the opposite way too, but they're mostly meant for being downward. That's a good deal on that. You can't build it for that. Got some trailer brakes. I have one of these already. This is a motorcycle wheel chalk. Boy, these are handy. Handy to have. I rent it out with my cargo trailer. And people uh, use it for their bikes, motorbikes and that. And it actually will hold up the bike. And then uh, you just have to strap it down. But, but uh, you have to put it together when you get it. But boy, they're, they're a great little unit. I haven't had any problems with it. Just make sure when you, if you do get one, put it together. You put Loctite on all the, all the bolts. Because you don't want anything loosening up when you have a bike on there. I'm probably going to pick up these. These uh, 12 foot booster cables, I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to put it on my truck going from my battery with a fuse to the back of the back of the box and uh, I'll show you here what, what I'm going to do with that. Some batteries on sale. I've always wanted to get one of these pumps. I thought it would be a good idea for a rain barrel in the backyard to have that for a sprinkler pump on the, on the lawn. Water pump. Got some other pressure washers. This is one thing I'm looking at too. I may purchase this. I have some trees in the front yard, but I'm going to check it out when I go there to see what kind of quality it is. But it's regular 139 on for 119. It's um, it will extend to nine and a half feet, and it's got a chainsaw on the end, and you just plug it in. That's a lot safer. So if you're up a couple of feet on a ladder, you can get an almost ten foot extension to to cut your limbs. I have lots of limbs in the yard to cut off. I'm gonna pick up one of these too. It's a crimping tool for uh, uh, doing your uh, like battery posts on batteries for RVs and that. So I'm going to pick up one of those. That's a pretty good price. Regular $24.99, $14.99. And I may look at some cable here too. It's on sale. Yeah. Cement mixer. That's a good deal on a welding helmet there. 44 auto darkening. Air compressors. I bought one of these a long time ago, but I never did use it. I ended up selling it. I never ran even in sand through it. I thought about picking up one of these here. Um, that's pretty cheap, 
make a little hoist out of something. I think it comes with a rope too. And you got two pulleys. Two pulleys. I mean you can't for eleven ninety nine, twelve dollars. These things are handy too for lifting up generators and bikes and that sort of thing, but it's a little steep. There's a ball locks. Sometimes I can get them cheaper than that, but all this is is a deterrent. It's not really gonna stop anybody from stealing a trailer. But this here, I thought I've got a front end little loader. I thought about mounting that to the front of the bucket, and then uh, just having a system where I can put it on and take it off for putting a two inch ball and moving the trailers around the yard. But I'm not sure on that yet. There's a good deal on a uh, brake uh, controller, $89. I have one of these, works great. There's some LED lights for $34.99. I bought one of these switches the other day, but I got it a better deal than that. I think I paid $12.99 for it. I'm going to pick up a couple of these little straps. I'm going to use that for lifting a generator into the back of my truck. Yeah, and then I was looking at this, questioning it. It's a 17.5 horsepower overhead gas engine, electric start. It's not a bad deal. I do have a lawn tractor, a Craftsman, that's in good shape. And I'm thinking about switching the engine over, but I haven't made a determination yet. I, you know. Even if the lawn tractor quit, you still got a good engine, as long as you take care of it. And then this is definitely one thing I'm going to buy. It's a thousand pound mini truck bed crane. Regular 149. I was going to buy this the other day, and now it went on sale, which is even better. 149.99. It's on for 89.99. Now what I'm going to do with this, and put it, put it in the back of my pickup truck, on the corner, in the back of the bed. And then I'm going to have it with a hook so that I can lift up the generators into the back of my truck when I'm doing RV deliveries. And that'll save my back, for sure, lifting these up and in and out. And I'll probably mount a winch right up on top here so that I can just swing this out of the truck, past the tailgate, hook the winch line onto the generator with these straps back here, and then just uh, winch it up into the back of the tailgate. Once it's up, then just swing it onto the tailgate, let it down, and that's where the battery cables and the other previous are going to come in to uh, wire up the, the winch. So I'm definitely buying that. I think that's a great deal for $89.99. I don't even know if you could buy the steel for that. Plus you get the hydraulic jack that's already installed on it there. It's going to be interesting to see how that mounts into the truck. I might have to reinforce it with some steel. You got some hydraulic stuff here. Drill presses. That's kind of interesting. For $54.99, I don't even know if you could build it for that price of steel. And then the last thing I'm looking at that I probably will purchase is this here. It's a 48 inch clamp cutting guide. I've seen these, I think I've seen these on YouTube and they work pretty good for on sheets of plywood and drywall. They just clamp on the one end here and gives you a complete straight edge once it's clamped down. So you just measure what you need and clamp it down and you can run your skill saw right across or jigsaw. So I'm probably going to pick up one of those. Regular $39.99 on for $12.99. So guys, that's the uh, two-week flyer. That's starting April 16th to 28th, 2019. I'll definitely be uh, heading to Princess Auto and picking up some of these great finds. So if you like the video and you like these, uh, I'll probably keep making them when they come out. So when the flyers come out, so please. Uh, 
uh, like below. Uh, hit the subscribe and also the uh, bell for notifications. Thanks guys. Chat to you later.